Welcome back to the Skies Tours. Today we're going to be watching the Subaru on a budget. All right, so from that last montage, you probably noticed that the Subaru is getting a little dirty. The past couple weeks here in Oklahoma have been really, really crummy. And my car is just covered in grime, dirt, salt, all sorts of craziness. And today is really the first day my hose isn't frozen and uh, we can actually get this thing washed and we can be outside and not be miserable. So I wanted to make this video on a budget because I was looking at prices over at the old auto zone and I noticed that a lot of these cleaners are really, really expensive and you probably have stuff around your house that you didn't even know you had. So I got some stuff out and we're gonna do this car wash on a budget. Most of you guys at home probably already have a vacuum cleaner that you're not really using. So I actually found one. This one's pretty beat up. You know, we bought a new one after a while when we moved and uh, this one's got tape around the hose, but we put it in the garage just for moments like this because we don't wanna mess up the nice one. We don't have a shop back because it's not a, really a shop, it's more or less a garage, if you know what I mean. Uh, but this should do the trick. We'll get an extension cord so we can run it right out here. And then we have the piece de la resistance, the amalgamation of old car cleaner stuff. So in here, we've got a handful of microfiber towels, which we're absolutely gonna need. Got one of those car mitts, definitely gonna use. And uh, if you watched one of the previous videos, you noticed that we got the uh, McGuire's heavy duty wheel cleaner here that I used a ton of in the last video. and. Uh, found out that Dawn dish soap is actually the best. So that was pretty interesting. But I almost guarantee that you guys at home have the same stuff, just random glass cleaners, because there's always those great presents where your family just gets you a car wash kit because you want to get outside, you want to take care of the ride, and uh, you just want to show how much you care about your thing. So let's get this unpacked and uh, we'll move on. All right, so we got our random bag of treats uh, unpacked here. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I found some pretty funny stuff. I found an additional fuel cap I had for one of my previous uh, GTIs from Duralast, built to last. So, I mean, I'm just gonna hold on to that for a while. I don't know if I'll ever need it again, but no point in throwing it out. Just hoarding mentality. Found some some key batteries. And then there's some other stuff in here that I'm sure some of you guys, some of you detailers are just cringing at, like Armor All, some detailing wax, some goof off, I mean, <laughs> Febreze, right? We got some interior wipes and uh, the Rain X. I actually really like this stuff. Um, I actually used it on the Subaru last time I washed it, and it really does just make the water beat off it when you're in the uh, the old rain there. But hey, um, looks like we got some good stuff here. Um, I'm gonna start off with the vacuuming, so uh, let's get it going. All right. So now that we're on the inside, we're gonna start out here. What I like to do is I like to start. Uh, basically on the floors first. Um, so what we'll do is we'll get everything off the floors. We'll get the floor mats out. I think it's easiest to just uh, run them with the vacuum, shake them out a little bit, call it a day, get in between the seats, get everything off the floors and uh, get all the stuff off the ground. So let's start there. All right, we got the front all vacuum. Let's head to the back. It's a little bit dirtier, so bear with me. Hey, so the back's a little bit dirtier than the front. Let's get these weather mats out. Let's get the car seat out and get all this junk out and get to vacuuming. It already looks way better back here. We got all that popcorn out. I got a little hungry, so I might have ate it. But uh, let's get everything back in and uh, move on. All right, so we're back up front. We got everything vacuumed out. Looks choice. <laughs> uh, but no, we've got some of these Armor All protectants we found. So let's get the dash wipe down and then we'll move on to the windows. What's great about microfiber cloth is you, don't, you can just wash them. 
Like, I know some detailers are probably like, well, there's stuff that gets stuck in them. Brother, we don't care about that. We just want the job done and nothing's gonna do it better than a microfiber cloth. Now it's time for the hardest part of the whole car, the rear window. Now I know some of you guys are probably like, Matt, that's the easiest part. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm a, uh, I think this is the worst part. It's just so far in, but luckily it doesn't get too dirty. And uh, that's all we gotta do. All right, a change of clothes and a cupcake later and we're ready to start the outside of the car. I like to start from the top and work my way around and also work in segments so I don't get all lost because you know how scatterbrains I am. But we've got our found uh, wash and wax, our scrub mitt, our bucket, and our hose all set up. We also got some towels with the, uh, the man himself, LeBron James, on there. So uh, let's get started. So in our bucket of awesome, I found that brush earlier and I got an extra microfiber cloth that uh, looks like it's already been used on wheels before, but I don't remember the last time I've used anything in that box. But uh, make sure to only use your tire stuff on your tires because you really don't want to break dust on your paint. Uh, but let's get this clean and move on. All right, for the windows on the exterior, we've got some more of that auto glass we found. We got a clean microfiber for the outside. Spray it down, it's wiping. And to finish things off, we got our spray detailer. We got a clean microfiber. We're gonna spray it directly on the microfiber and then wipe it down and we'll be all done. All right, guys, and with that, we're all done. The car looks amazing. All that road salt and all that road grime is off. Car is sparkling. And uh, the best thing was we did it with no money spent. This is all stuff I had around the house. I actually got yelled at because I was gonna go buy more stuff, but then we did it for free. Look through your garage, look through your house. I'm sure you have plenty of this stuff. If you don't have auto glass cleaner, go get yourself some Windex. I know you definitely have that. Even dial soap will be fine. It might be a little bit more harsh on the paint, it might not wick away water, but hey, at least you did it for a cheap price. 
But anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We'll catch you next time.